Hello everyone, I'm Shri Tumidi and I'm the product manager for single sign-on servers on Pivotal Cloud Foundry. In today's session, I will be covering the installation and plan configuration for this service. We start off by launching the Ops Manager console. The single sign-on service is dependent on the UA server which is installed as part of Elastic Runtime. The UA server is the central authentication and authorization server for the platform and is now multi-tenant. The service install itself is straightforward and no further input is required from the operator as all configuration is picked up from Elastic Runtime. The service installer installs a service broker application onto Elastic Runtime. You are currently looking at the Apps Manager console and I'm logged in as an admin. Underneath the system org, a new space is created by the installer called the Identity Service space and the Service Broker application is pushed into this space. The logs for the Service Broker application can be accessed from here or also from the CF command line interface tool. Now let's switch to the demo arc. Underneath the marketplace, you will see that the Pivotal single sign-on service is not yet available. In order to make the service visible within the marketplace, we will have to create a plan for the single sign-on service. We start off by launching the plan dashboard at p-identity dot system domain. You need to be logged in as an administrator to create a plan. A plan in this service corresponds to a unique tenant. One plan can serve multiple applications running on the platform and cut across multiple spaces and orgs. You may choose to create plans based on your organization needs around segregation. This could be by business units or geographical locations or by environments such as development staging and production. In order to create a plan, we click on the new plan button, provide a plan name. The plan name is visible under the services marketplace. The plan description is available as a plan feature in the marketplace. The authentication domain or the auth domain is part of the access URI which is used to access the service plan. The instance name appears on the login page and in other end user facing content and also email communication to the user. Finally, we need to set the org visibility and over here we are going to select the demo org and create the plan. Now we have the plan created for the Pivotal Single Sign-On service. Now I have switched back to the Apps Manager console and I'm in the marketplace. As you can see, the Pivotal Single Sign-On service is now available within the marketplace for the demo org. The plan that we just created, the demoing SSO plan, is now visible. Let's select this plan and create a service instance based on it. Applications within the development space will be using this service instance to bind with the service and gain single sign-on. This wraps the demo for installation and plan configuration of the Pivotal single sign-on service. Thank you.